Yeah, what's up guys? So I'm getting ready to head to the shop, make a quick video on uh, just a few things you get going on. You guys will see in a minute, but I just want to mention real quick, don't forget about uh, don't forget about October's giveaway. If you guys uh, aren't in, head over to my uh, giveaway video for October, down in the comments, helping techs. Uh, we only got about, uh, what, three or four more days. Maybe, maybe I'll run a week on it or something like that before we pick a winner. Had to put a mention out on it. I know I haven't been able to put a few... Uh, as many videos out this month as I usually do, but uh, just been busy at the shop, you know, getting ready for cold weather and winter and all that stuff. We'll be talking about in a minute. So, but uh, but yeah, guys, head over to that uh, video. I got the link right here. Get yourself entered if you're not entered already. You just got to be a subscriber, like that video, throw it on in the comment section. Helping hashtag helping techs and uh, get you in there. We got about a week or so left. So we'll see you guys at the shop. So I'm here at the shop. I wanted to do a quick uh, video on kind of things coming up on the channel and uh, see what you guys think. Maybe run through some things to you guys. I got a few uh, few ideas. Obviously, I want to be doing. Uh, I want to start the toolbox organization on some of the drawers, the socket drawer. I want to regrow through it. Um, I got those new gear wrench in the drawer and those Nipex pliers, but. I mean, I'm, I'm really running out of room. I got to change it up somehow to uh, fit some of these newer ones in here that I got coming in or still want in there. I actually had to take some, some pliers and things out of there just to fit those uh, Nipex in there. Show you guys real quick. So here's the plier drawer. And I got the Nipex in there, but I had to move out the vice grips. I put them in another drawer but I got to come up with a better system of organizing these drawers. I want them all in one drawer and right now I got them kind of scattered. I left them on the same row but I put the uh, move some things around in here and I put the vice grips in this drawer and I know these drawers are the little shallower ones I think the two inch drawers this one is so you, you, know, you really can't too, fit too many uh, bigger tools in these drawers so I was thinking maybe bump them up or move the wrenches down or maybe reconfigure the box drawers or something to get these things set up more the way I like them. But we got to figure something out. And then of course the socket drawer and the wrench drawer. Um, we'll be doing some videos on organizing that, those drawers. Kind of the, the best way to do it. Um, as far as the plier drawers, I know they got those racks, the snap-on racks. These things, snap on makes these, uh, you know, flyer organization racks. They sit up pretty tall, um, but they're kind of, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I like the, the wire one, the metal ones more, or these. I picked a few of these up. What's the part number on this? KAPL10. I picked a few of these up thinking, you know, if I went down that route, this would be nice. It is snap-on, but you know, no magnets at the bottom. I don't know the way they sit in there. They sit up pretty high. Some of these players, you know, have to sit up pretty high. Here's a Nipex. So I mean, it's a good concept, but I mean, the wire ones take up less room. I think they sit up less higher. It doesn't need all that height. I mean, really, just something small to hold th these upright would work out. So, not sure what I'm going to do, but definitely going to probably be making some videos on it. And then, of course, organizing the socket drawer, getting these uh, sockets all together and organized up. Using more of the snap-on socket trays, filling them in. Kind of got them scattered everywhere right now. But, uh, yeah, guys, just wanted to do one real quick. Also, I got, uh, you know... Here in Illinois, wintertime's right around the corner. I mean, this, this cold weather hit like a sack of potatoes. 
not really sure how bad it's going to get. You know, I don't mind the extreme temperatures. It's the snow that, that kills me between, you know, snow in the house and the walkways and, you know, plowing a lot here. Um, whether, whether I do it or I hire a company to do it, you know, that stuff adds up. I hope there's not a whole lot of snow, but I got the cars that I buy that I've been slacking on this year. I still got two, I got two here, and then I got another two. I, I got four of them still, but I got two sitting here now. I got a Ford and a Nissan Pathfinder, a Ford Focus Nissan Pathfinder that I'm probably gonna be jumping on real soon here. The Ford Focus, I think it's an 03. It actually runs really well. It just, uh, the front of it, it, they hit, they hit something. They crashed into somebody or something or their kid. Well, I ended up acquiring the car for a really good deal, um, pretty much free. So I figure I'm going to put that thing back together. It needs a core support. It needs a radiator. Um, not sure if I'm going to do a hood on it. I'll probably do a hood on it. Not sure. But I'll take you guys out there and kind of show you those cars. I also got a big uh, Dodge out there that customer uh, had needed some work for back in the summertime. Sold the job. Got all the work done. And uh, called the customer and can't get a hold of him. Don't want to pick up his truck. It's a work truck too. Um, Maybe that's another another thing I could bring up. You know, these these cars sitting on my lot, or if you guys got cars that customers don't want to pick up, you know, what are the processes you guys go through? Um, think about doing a lien on this guy's truck and uh, taking possession of it, whether I do a build on it or auction it off to recoup some of my money. But uh, you guys will see that truck out there too. So, but yeah, guys. So a quick one. I'll take you guys out there. I want to show you those cars real quick. Maybe let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a build on any of these cars. I'm actually working up towards, uh, you know, flipping these cars to uh, get a car I have in mind, uh, or maybe a few cars I have in mind that I want to get. I want to get something boosted, um, maybe along the lines of like a Honda or Acura, or maybe a Subaru, something like that. Maybe get your guys' input on that. To see maybe, uh, you know, flip these cars for profit and work up towards a car that maybe you guys want me to do a build on, or you guys want to see me work on or get. Um, just a thought, maybe do a video series on it. And before we head outside, I also wanted to mention to you guys too, I got some, got some Snap-on news for you guys too. My uh, Snap-on man hit me with some news last week. Uh, I'll be putting that up on the channel here soon in the next couple weeks, letting you guys know kind of what's going on. Um, but uh, it should be pretty cool. Check that one out, guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, you think you may like that one, pretty cool. Couldn't, kind of a deal, couldn't pass up type of thing. So. But let's head out there. All right, guys. Sorry about the wind. It's freezing out. Leaves are falling. But here's pretty much where I store my cars on the side of my building. I got the three of them here. These two are 2003s. Uh, 2003 Focus. I'll probably be putting the front of it back together. The bumper looks fine. Definitely needs a hood, the radiator, the core support. The lights seem to be okay. That small grill that's, that holds the turn signals, get those ordered up, get this thing back together. It does, uh, it needed a motor mount before the accident, so I'll put that on there. Do a quick flip on this one. Um, maybe keep the profits to buy the next one. And then I got this one. This one actually runs really well. I need some exhaust work. Picked up this one a while back. Uh, never really got around to this one because it really doesn't need much. I had some uh, bites on it, some offers on it, just nothing that really stuck. You know, never really put 100% effort on getting rid of it. Plus, the customer still got to come and take his stuff out of it, the old owner. So, got this one, 2003 Nissan Pathfinder. Real nice car. Nice interior, leather. It's open. I got them locked, of course. But yeah, leather interior. It's decent. I like this one. He's got new tires under, new shocks. This guy did a bunch of work on it, but uh, I think he got a better job, so he ended up getting a more efficient car or something like that. But uh, here's this Dodge, guys. It's got the 5.9 in it. I want to say it's a 99 dually. Uh, runs pretty good. This thing needs some work. He used this thing for, for his construction company. You can see the bricks in the back and all that stuff, but, you know, I'm on the fence about it. I don't know. You know, I like the guy. The guy's been a customer for a while now, but, you know, to not answer your phone anymore on me, man, I'm not going to store your truck here. You know, back here is usually where I would push the snow from the lot, and, uh, you know, I, I like to clean this up on the side before, before it's, you know, January at least, maybe December, before the snow starts really hitting. They say it's supposed to be not that bad this year, but, you know, I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, maybe we'll do a build on this one, guys. I'm just paying attorney fees. 
be easy. We don't take possession of this thing. Can't be, uh, I know no one has interest in it. I can't do much, but get this thing fixed up and uh, do something cool with it. I'm not really sure. So, but yeah, those are the three guys I'll be working on. Maybe we'll do some videos on. Uh, this one's probably going to be pretty simple. I'll throw some exhaust on it, get this thing detailed up, and uh, see if we can get a, make a flip on this one. We'll bring you guys through that process. Um, and then this one, obviously, where I, I'm starting at zero on this one. So, you know, after the parts and the labor, it's pretty much in the black no matter what. You know, if I can't, you can't make a profit on a free car just putting a few front end pieces on it, body pieces. It's, uh, you know, and these things are pretty popular, you know, the young kids, good on gas, you know, the downside, it's a Ford, but hey, I own a Ford Mustang too, so. But yeah, guys, just a quick one. Let me guys, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me work on these things or, you know, make the flip on this one, maybe do, maybe do something cool on it, maybe tint the windows or something, make it look decent, a quicker flip. I always got to put that quick mod on there, put my stink on there to help him sell. So I'm going to get back inside. It's freezing out here, guys. All right, guys, I'm back in the toasty shop. I always turn the heat on uh, wirelessly through my phone before I get here. I got it hooked to like a Wi-Fi with the alarm system. I can control the heat, so I always turn it on before I get here, five or ten minutes before I get here in the morning even. Um, but, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments maybe what you want to see. Um, Flipping that forward, like I said, I got a few cars that I have in mind that I want to get. Um, probably going to be an Asian or a Jap turbo car. Maybe do a build on it. Maybe I, I'll take one that's half there and then just kind of do the things I want to do on it. Or I could do like I did last time. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see the, the other Honda I had. I think that was a B-Series motor uh, a while back. Sold that, made a killing on it, had so much fun with that car. I mean, man, that little Civic. I mean, nothing could touch it on the road. I, I mean, I, that thing was smoking Mustangs and what have you. That thing had uh, probably about 500 horsepower, 550, with just, I think, a 90 millimeter turbo or something on it. It was such a nice car. I wish I never would have got rid of that one. But uh, definitely want another one. Or maybe a Subaru. I've, had, I've been thinking about one of those. Uh, maybe a WRX or something, an older one. Any, something I could find, anything I could find um, for a good price, do a build on. Um, but I'll leave it up to you guys, you know, maybe what you guys want to see and, uh, you know, what will work out best um, in the area, what I could find in the area for a decent price. One of my old techs, like I said, had, has an Acura that uh, he wants to sell. He's, he's actually in the service now. He'll be coming out probably in the next month or so. He's going to be bringing the car so I can take a look at it to see if I'm interested in it. Um, Stelio, if you're watching, bring me that car, man. I'm waiting on it. So, but... Um, but yeah, guys, I figured I'd just do a quick one, quick Sunday at the shop. Uh, had to grab some paperwork and things like that for the house today. Um, come here and finish some stuff up for Monday. But, you know, it's uh, just wanted to put that out there for you guys, see what you guys think. Uh, I appreciate all the support on the channel. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. I think we got about 100 or so to go. Um, thank you for everybody that bought the JRC54 stickers. Um, shipped them out the other day. They are on their way. You should be getting them next week sometime. Um, if you guys want stickers, I'll leave a link up here. Uh, last video, you to find out where you get them, hit me on Instagram, um, you know, PayPal, whatever. If you want some stickers, support the channel. It's an instant entry in the 2K giveaway for the Solus Ultra. So, you know, great scanner, can't beat it, you know, for 10 bucks. You know, 10 bucks gets you in, buy two stickers or more, it'll get you in. Plus, it supports the channel and helping out these. Uh, these techs, you know, just starting off or techs that maybe don't have the means or the money to buy the tools needed to get these jobs done on these newer cars. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.